Welcome to another Fear Street Review. Today, we're reviewing The Call, which begins streaming on Shutter July 15th. No one asked, there's going to be a couple of spoilers, so if that's not your bag, hit stop immediately and go away, but come back later in life. Um, if you're cool with spoilers, then like, stay where you're at. We got you covered. Yeah, so in The Call, in the fall of 1987, a group of small town friends must survive the night in the home of a sinister couple. Needing only to make a single phone call, the request seemed ordinary until they realized that this call could change their life or end it. I, this movie had a very interesting ideal. Um, and we have two very seasoned actors, Tobin Bell and Lynn Shay, who are iconic and always perfect. Um, and they are the only watchable part for me. Yeah, I love Lynn Shay. Um, she is like everything. She's, and she's been in like everything. Everything. Um, and what I love about her too is that she will be in like insidious so like this huge blockbuster film but then she also takes time to be in um low budget indie films especially with like marginalized communities i love her we'll also do comedy and nail it like she she is an underappreciated hero for sure um let's just say this because i need everybody out there to realize this it's real hard to pretend that these actors are in high school (laughs) i looked them up they're our age sheree oh so they're all 25 uh, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> it's awkward. 25 for a few years, but you know, it's anniversaries at this point. But um, no, yeah. I was like, you were born in 1991. You were two years younger, three years younger than I am. Two years younger than I am. <laughs> listen, um, listen, <laughs> I really do feel like we need to start having this conversation about why we won't let age appropriate people play age appropriate people especially in a movie like this where it's all like a bunch of nudity or something because then I can be like okay but this was just like we were in high school um grab your 30 year old something friend and let's go and I'm like but why and I think that also would help dialogue and things if we did actually talk to younger people because I've been watching lots of things and I even as a teen the first couple times I was reading teen books and I was like this is not how we sound and I don't know why Hollywood is always like, we can do this better than the people who we're writing about. Because <laughs> they yeah. can't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like this movie would have been better if we condensed it and made it an hour of like a sci-fi anthology, like Tales from the Dark Side or Tales from the Crypt or something like that, as opposed to letting it be its own movie that runs amok and goes on way too long. Yeah, no, it felt like, I, and I don't know how you felt about it, but like it felt like, there was everything that happened before they got into the house and there's everything that happened after the house. I thought the stuff after they got into the house, there was something there. Like, there was some scariness to it. There was something there that, but there was never a spark to like pull you in. I didn't really care about any of the characters. I didn't, the dialogue was rough many, 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 many times. Um, I will say the costumes were cute. I was like, okay, 80s, I'm here for it. Yeah. It was very much of that decade, yeah. which is a thing that Shudder is nailing is the decade. Yeah. Um, even when the movie's not for me, I'm like, I know where we're at. Because again, I don't do the trailers and I don't read the descriptions. I'm just like, that sounds like a cool title. I'd like to review it. Um, and so I'm like, 80s. And they are having like a little 80s moment. And I see that in them. Um, I just that, wish I, I liked more of them. That, that first scene when she's showing him around the school and she has a pink blazer with like the black strap. I was like, I want that. I, want I knew that it. Outfit. I took one look at her and when I was like, Trent's gonna end up wearing this, I wanna I'm gonna just roll in and be like, Trent, you're pink. <laughs> you're gonna be like, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, and his and his costume was cute too. You know, like so yeah. I was here for the costumes, but the, the script needed some work. There were too many characters involved because when they get into having everybody have their moment and I, I didn't care. Uh, I was like, we we needed less friends. We needed less friends for this particular situation to work. Yeah, and I also, like, I understand that it was kind of coded, and I might be reading into it wrong, but I felt like they needed more people on board to discuss um, the little brother character um, and the trauma that they used against him when it was pretty obvious that his dad was molesting him. I don't, because they, like, hit the whole thing with the bed and the monster under the bed, and the dad is, like, beating up the older brother, and it said after the end, she's, Lynn Jay had a line. It was like, and after the mom died, 
he started abusing you even worse. So they don't ever come right out and say it, but they hint at it pretty obviously. Even the way they, they linger with the camera on his belt buckle when he's undoing his belt to beat the brother, I'm just like, I don't like where this is going and this is not going to help anything that's already wrong in this film. Yeah, I think that they just needed some something there. Um, but yeah. They, they need to start calling people into these rooms who can help them navigate these conversations instead of just like going at it like the Wild Wild West so we can stop giving these notes. Yes, yes. But who am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, Sheree, is it a yay or a nay? Nay. <laughs> I'm shocked. I didn't, I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's a softer nay, but it, it is still a nay. I think that, like I said, there was some things that were working here, but not enough. I think this, if the script had gone through maybe one or two more drafts and they could have had other people in the room to kind of help say, you, you can cut this whole scene. You can cut this. You can cut that. Um, I think it would have been a little bit, it might have elevated it to a soft yay. <laughs> But we got what we got. So it's a, it's a soft nay for me. Special thanks to our friends at Shatter for this screener. We love you. Love you. <laughs> uh, yeah, as always, hit us up in the comments. If you agree, disagree, let us know. Let us know your thoughts because I'm interested to see what the public thinks of this film because there yeah. are some people who love it. I don't know. No they might see things we don't see. Like that's a cool conversation to be like, oh, I did miss this. Thank you. Right, exactly. So let us know. And as always, make sure you stay fierce out there. Bye.